Yes, yes, my new uh, style. <laughs> okay, but before we get to the painting, let's just find out a little bit about you. So, uh, you're a Capitanian, are you a Capitanian? Where, where, what is your origin story? Where did you grow up? How did you get to Cape Town? How did you start doing art? I know you as a graffiti artist, I think that's how I know, having musician to be part of Okay, so let's have your whole story where you come from, how you got to this place. Okay, so I'm, I'm born in Johannesburg, uh, and then we moved to Pretoria when I was like two or three years old. Grew up there, and uh, yeah, art and music has always been part of my life. Um, especially from my mother and my grandmother that was really in the art scene, uh, or you know, really pushing for it. And um, that's where it started developing, and then eventually went into graphic design, and you know, always doing paintings on the side, doing gigs on the side. And yeah, I got over Pretoria. Eh? Pretoria got so dead. So I got into the car and I left and stayed in Durban for about eight months or a year. And then I traveled the coast and then I ended up in Long Street. <laughs> and I then stayed in Bloberg for a couple of years and now I'm back in town where I prefer it. And yeah, the arts only started picking up again in the past three years where I was doing a quote for a client for a website actually. And then he says, no, he's, 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 uh, he's not going to go with the website. He, he, needs, he needs illustrations done for a, a, a present. So we were going to do illustrations. Then it went over to an art piece. And then when I did the art piece for him, then it just started you know, snowballing to the point where um, I'm exhibiting now. So. And uh, it's, it's not so much graffiti art. It's more murals. Uh, so uh, where, where I'll do murals, in, but in, a, in an artistic style. So I'll, I'll literally paint the, mur the mural instead of doing it with spray or anything. So would you, would you say you're, you're a graffiti artist, right? Mural art. Okay, there's obviously a difference. Well, I explain the difference to, to me and your artist, like the graffiti against the wall and a mural. What is the difference there? So, so with graffiti, it's normally spray paint, and uh, it also kind of has a, has a negative con connotation to it, you know, old school re rebellious. I wanted to be a graffiti artist, I really did, but I don't have that uh, steady hand. So uh, it's a lot, a lot of skill goes into to good graffiti, and a lot of money as well, because the spray, you know, the, the spray cans quite, cost quite a lot. Whereas murals, uh, you can spray with it, but it's, it's more of a uh, artistic style. Uh, paint, you know, like like liquid paint instead of spray. Sorry, it's a bit of noise in the background. This is an active gallery. We are in this gallery. People are talking. And they're showing me these art people. So it's going to be a bit of background noise, but it is what it is. We uh, decided to do the in front of uh, the painting. And uh, yeah, what are you? Where are we? Where's the place? Where are we? We are in uh, 1895. It's a new gallery that just opened on the corner of Church Street and Berg Street in the Cape Town city centre. We're basically a block away from uh, Green Market Square. And uh, this was now the first opening of this new space. Cool, yeah, lots of art here. I had a little short interview with my vlog about first first days, so it will be on there with as well. But I want to get back to your art. So how did the mural thing start? When did it start and when did it start? It's quite funny. I did a, I actually recorded at the artist, uh, well, the, 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 um, the studio space in Woodstock. So you can see my piece at, uh, in U Street, um, and it's part, it's part of the Woodstock Street Art Tours with, with Baz Art. And uh, I recorded a song at the studio in 2018, I think. And from there, uh, I saw he posted on Facebook, he's looking for a mural artist. So I did a little proposal, put it through, and he liked my work, and that's how that started. And from that mural, I, went to, I did another mural at the Woodstock Hub. A, a, a full story uh, mural uh, uh, of, a, of an Afro chick, you can check that at 170 Victoria Road. And uh, from there on, it moved over to the gallery. <laughs> I'm assuming that you're, you're, as a mural artist, that influences what you do now, what you did with this painting as well. You were talking about, it, about this painting the style and how the mural vibe influences your style? Yeah, so I mean, my, my, my big, my big uh, uh, references or my big inspiration was guys like Jackson Pollock from school, 
I just love this expressionist uh, style towards towards his his his, uh, his his work, and then Basquiat latest one. Um, you know, I, I just love that that complete uh, freedom of expression, you know, and, and breaking the rules. And uh, it's, it's basically when you're re really angry or really in love or really happy where you just let go. And uh, I mean, especially, w you know, when you study art and you, you have to get that perfect, you, know, you have to get the, 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 the shading perfect, you know, you have to get the, 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 the proportions perfect and all of that. And that's basically where the style developed because, you know, some of the scratch pieces, you know, I would just start throwing paint on it. And the, the mistakes would have to become beautiful. And the more you, and uh, it's, it's a basically a philosophy to life. You know, like, you know, your, your life becomes beautiful through the mistakes you make. And you can't grow without making mistakes. You can't succeed without failure. And that's basically the, the style that, I'm, that I've started in growing into. So I very much the same philosophy. I'm, yeah, I'm not a trained artist, I'm a trained anything. I'm from a young, early age, I'm not sure, I'm sound pretentious, not from an early age, but many years ago, I decided for me, I want to do the hard way and learn my own stuff my own way. I don't want to learn all those rules. I also don't like the rules that I totally agree. There, there's not really something like mistakes. I mean, and it's very punk. I describe this kind of punk. I think you also a bit of punk. Yes, yeah, very punk, very punk, very rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, we, we learn like, this is the form, and this is beauty, and this is ugly. But as, as far as I'm concerned, that's, I mean, it's all in the eye of the ball, the first of all. And uh, there is beauty in ugliness and ugliness in beauty because something can be perfectly beautiful but it can be completely dishonest and pretentious and that's also ugly. Yeah. And it can be a lie and something can be really kind of ugly to the eye but it's so honest that it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's that truth that I'm trying to, to portray, you know, that, that honesty. Yeah, it's authentic, honesty, truth and that is my whole mission as well. It is the whole, whole life. So we've got the same life philosophy. And you get the so-called art rule, which is in a certain way, then, it, then it's just like as art. Okay, we've got all kinds of noises around there, but it's part of, it's, it's part of the mistakes of this interview. <laughs> <laughs> exactly that, exactly that. And that's what's going to make the interview beautiful. <laughs> yeah, like you see, I, this is my, I've got a screw in here, this is how I hold the microphone. It's all very gorilla style, always done it like this. And it's about that freedom. I mean, my face is free well, but it's not that yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. loosening yourself in the constraints of a certain form. Like you say, it's all about your uh, authentic yeah. way of expressing yourself. About being real. Yeah, yeah. A truth. Find the truth in, in it. Yeah. Not that truth, just a truth. Yeah, yeah well, there is no truth. It's all perception. So, do you want to explain a bit about this? Yeah, so, I mean, uh, you'll, you'll see the background is basically my style, you know, it's, it's, a, it's aggressive, it's, it's, it's free, and uh, a lot of design principles that, that form it, because you can, anyone can throw paint on a canvas, but to make it look aesthetically pleasing, it has to have that balance, and it has to have the design principle of movement and, and uh, uh, you know, that type of thing. So, I mean, I've, I've started with, with a lot of abstracts and then I, I thought, let me d start developing this into something a bit bigger. So we're going to move into something a bit more popish, you know, pop art vibes and uh, just, just experiment, you know, see what we can, how far we can push the style, you know, with, with based on, on cartoons, uh, cartoonist, uh, you know, pop, uh, pop art and uh, also uh, more traditional elements into it and just see how it comes together, you know, like how, how they match. Any specific reason why you chose Mickey Mouse? For the fun of it. <laughs> That's good enough. That's what I mean. <laughs> I mean, Mickey is Mickey's legend, you know, and if you look at the background of Mickey Mouse uh, from Walt Disney, it's Mickey Mouse is the one that made Walt Disney. And uh, uh, if you look at the, the, the story of, of Walt Disney, I mean, he was also like a, a massive failure for how many years before he broke into the industry and he changed the, 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 he changed history, you know, and just kept on pushing, kept on pushing. And Mickey Mouse is now such an, uh, a, a, a you know, he's it's, it's as famous as, as, as Santa Claus. You know, that type of thing. So, uh, why not Mickey, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I also think that that's the important thing is like, for me, it's like the struggle is part of the art. Mm -hmm. the, the more I struggle, because I feel like I struggle all the time, I never get anywhere, but the, the more I get put down and the more I struggle, the more aggressive I become in making stuff. Mm -hmm. I just like want to make more and more stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking maybe the struggle is actually the good part. I think mm -hmm. one, once you've made it, maybe one day, and 
And you're just going to become fat and lazy and do nothing, you know? Yeah, well, if you see the guys who made it, they are quite fat. <laughs> well, they can afford good food, so I guess that's why. <laughs> so I'm thinking like, uh, uh, one day, I hope, I, I hope I'm not going to die a total failure. I hope maybe I'll have a few years next to me, you get some recognition, and you can eat as many cheeseburgers as you want. You know? <laughs> yeah, well, we see, we see it's a journey, you know. If it was all smooth sailing, it would have been boring. <laughs> Uh, what, what else do you want to talk about? Uh, what's your future plans? Uh, are you working on mm -hmm. stuff now? Do you want to, do you think you, do you want to exhibit more, more murals? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, uh, with my with my uh, music, I'm releasing a, a, a new two new tracks soon, and then with my art, you know, I'm trying to push out as many pieces now, getting as many galleries as possible, and uh, yeah, trying to get them flogging, you know, get them out. Anything else that you think you want to say? Mm -hmm. Um, that you need to keep on believing in yourself, eh? And that, uh, you know, failure is part of the journey. You'll never reach success without failing. So st stop being scared of, of, of making mistakes. Yeah. Um, actually, somebody told me the other day, they experimented with people on steaks. I never eat steaks because they can't afford it, man. They've been messed it up. Hey, man, it's okay. It's a pity, but hey, it's fine. <laughs> but uh, listen, uh, how can people get all of your, your, your media and your stuff? So you can go to my website, Rian Pretorius, R-I-A-N, pretorius.co.za. There you can see my music and my art, as well as my design, my design work. Uh, you can check me out on Facebook. Uh, my music page is John Bold, uh, B-O-L-D. My, my artist page is Fine Art by Rian Pretorius. And uh, I'm also on TikTok, Rian Pretorius. <laughs> so I will obviously title everything in here. I am currently on the journey where I'm going to do this all the time. Uh, you could say I'm a guerrilla independent journalist as well now, so I'll, I'll be doing interviews. Whoever wants to speak to me, come and speak to me. Give me an email. I want to speak to more artists, interesting people, do podcasts, interviews, mini documentaries, uh, and blogs, obviously. So, yeah, give me a call, support me. Please like and subscribe my channel. Like and subscribe Rian's channel. Support independent artists, people that do it for real. And uh, people are that are friendly because I mean the world needs people like us as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yeah. Cheers, man. Thanks. Thanks.